I don't even know how to explain what's going on right now, but it is so fucking pretty. How's it going everybody, Dragas here, welcome back to some more Universe Sandbox 2. So, little did I know, up until recently, that you can actually land on the planets and watch impacts and whatnot from there, so I thought it'd be cool to just kind of get a humanized view, as I was gonna say bird's eye view, but that would be total opposite, we would in fact be in space, a human eye view of things crashing into Earth. Because I've always been curious, like, how big does the moon get when it hits Earth? How big does a meteor look like, if it's a big one? Uh, I mean, you get the idea, so I think it'd be fun to just kind of sit down there and uh, watch things hit this. Um, keep in mind, this isn't very realistic, there's no mountains or anything, I'm not seeing my feet or anything. Uh, hell, I think you can just even walk in water if you wanted to, yeah, there we go, you can see that. So, it's not gonna give us, like, realistic impacts, but it's just gonna give us a good size reference of what it would look like to be looking in, up into the sky if something hit our Earth. So to start off with, let's launch our moon at Earth. So I don't know how long this is going to take. I might be regretting waiting for this, but we should be able to look up and see it. Is that... No, that's the sun. Where the hell's the moon? Oh, there it is! Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to wait a while here. You know what, what if I speed up time out here uh, until, like, we're bracing for impact, and then I'll slow it down. Okay, it actually might fly by Earth right now. I'm not I'm not really certain, but we're gonna go right around here. We'll just sit up here and watch. Let's see how close it is now. Oh yeah, that's coming close. That's actually kind of horrifying. Let's uh, speed it up a little bit here. There we go. And now we just wait for the impact. Oh god, that thing's coming straight towards me. Uh, yeah, this is definitely gonna hit Earth, I think. If, if it goes by, I would be amazed, but no, this is... Yep. <laughs> it's coming, and... Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't expect it to be this bright! And we are dead. I mean, definitely dead. And I'm in lava now! Oh my god, you can actually see the, um, crater impact as well, and then the fragments going off into space again. Okay, I just loaded in another simulation here. We got Earth with many moons. I think it'd be kind of fun to just watch these things explode and see how it reflects Earth. So I'm gonna speed it up now. I did slow it down. Let's speed it up to, like, minutes a second here. We don't want to go too fast, because then it starts lagging, but... <laughs> oh my god! This is really weird! Like, oh shit, look at that! I mean, this is just such a cool reference point. I mean, it gives you a good idea of how big planets, moons, and all these things truly are. And <laughs> it's just like a war zone between moons out here right now. It's actually really neat to watch. Now, Earth is pretty much molten lava right now from all the impacts it's been getting. Uh, but there's still quite a few moons around. Let's actually go out to just get a good reference here of what's going on. Yeah, there's a lot of just moons colliding and whatnot. Speed it, let's speed it up a bit here and see what happens. Uh, I think there's just going to be like one moon left at the end of all this. And maybe that's how our moon was formed. Okay, it actually seems slightly peaceful now. Let's slow it down and just go on there and look at what's going on. So yeah, a lot of moons turned into not many moons. I mean, I'm looking around here, I'm not really seeing much at all. When I look down, unfortunately, I get this, like, glare, which is annoying, but then again, I am kind of staring at lava, so it makes sense. Now, I am curious, though. A moon might be cool to watch, but to really get a good size reference, we gotta figure out what a sun hitting Earth would look like. So I just, I'm just gonna find... Earth and Moon. Let's go to that one, and then I'm going to launch a sun at the Earth. We gotta go really far out here. Okay, so here's the sun. That is... Oh my god. Okay, well, clearly I went a little too close, because I didn't even have a chance to go on Earth. Okay, let's try that again, but let's go a little further out. I thought this would be, like, far enough out, but clearly I underestimate the size of stars, and our sun really isn't that large of a star either. Okay, so, of course, we're gonna launch it at it once again, and then I'm gonna go straight to Earth. I'm ho hoping I can... The problem is, you stand on the ground so you rotate, and we might miss the impact here. Oh, shit! That is so big! Oh my god, like, at the ending there, it doesn't even seem like it could possibly be that close. Where the hell am I? Did... did oh, I'm going to assume because Earth seriously blew up, I'm just kind of nothing now. Let me actually go out. Oh, man, I can't even go out of this view now. I've, I've broken my game. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm curious to see what happens when a sun goes through our solar system. Now, we've seen that before, but we haven't seen it from the perspective 
of standing on Earth, and that's what I'm really curious to see. So we're gonna use, yeah, let's use Rigel here. This has the mass of 19 suns, so safe to assume it's gonna be pretty damn chaotic. I also upgraded the launch velocity from 10 kilometers a second to 50, so it's gonna go pretty fast here. That's coming in now, so let's get ready. Okay, here's the little Earth. I should probably slow this down a little bit here. Uh, I have no idea how far it is from where I currently am, but I'm sure if we look up in the sky right now, we should be able to see it somewhere. There it is! I have a sneaky suspicion it's going to get big very, very quickly here. Now, I am spinning, obviously. I'm at the top of the world, so I'm sorry if you're going to get dizzy. Uh, we're actually going to speed this up for a little bit here. Uh, yeah, this is getting really friggin' dizzy. And as you can see, it is getting bigger here. I have been speeding up time, and as you can see, I get really friggin' dizzy, so I gotta actually go out here. So let's go out a little bit and just watch this thing come in. We're actually being pulled towards it, you can see that. Uh, it's getting really close here, but it's hard to tell distances when you're this zoomed out. Okay, well, there's Rigel, but if you can see we're in chaos right now. I don't even think I'm rotating really around the sun anymore. I don't know where the sun is. But it looks like Uranus is being sucked up by Rigel right now. Um, nothing's happening really quickly. Unfortunately, the distances here are crazy. I probably shouldn't have used such a big star. So zooming out, we already see that Uranus has been totally pulled off course. A lot of the outer planets already have. Uh, I do want to, like, the problem is you have to be really careful here because it's like days a second and it goes really freaking quickly. So there we go. We're getting in close now. Mars is being pulled totally towards it. So I want to see from, like, here what's going on. So you can see Rigel in the sky, much bigger than our sun, which is much closer to us, by the way, uh, if we do this right here. You can see that our sun is, in fact, right beside us, and Rigel's still really far out. The thing is, it's just so big, it looks closer to us. Okay, there it is. We're on the wonderful Earth right now. There's our sun. I don't think they're gonna impact. I don't know though. The problem is like, the only thing I don't like about this, I wish you could just sit on the ground but let the ground rotate around you because the moment you speed up, this just happens and it gets really freaking confusing. Okay, it's looking like we're pretty much done here. Nothing really happened, to be totally honest. It's so hard to tell what's going on when you're spinning. But Rigel's right beside us. Let's zoom out now just to understand what's going on here. Uh, our solar system is pretty much being sucked into Rigel here. It went a little off course. I didn't expect that at all. But where, where is our sun anyways? I don't even know where our sun is. Oh, our sun's coming in right beside us. So let's speed this up, see what happens here. And it looks like we're gonna be kind of pulled in Rigel's tail. Uh, what the hell is going on? No, actually, I think we made it out of Rigel with the sun here. Yeah, if we speed up time a lot, you can see Mars is over by Rigel now, rotating that. And what is rotating the sun right now? It has, unfortunately, I glitched out my game a little bit here, speeding it up. Okay, so I slowed it down a bit here. We got Mercury, Venus, the sun, and Earth. That's the only things left rotating around the sun. That's so interesting. We got Jupiter going out in the middle of nowhere, Saturn. I think Mars is rotating around Rigel. Let me actually see that. Yeah, we got Mars over here following Rigel around in a wave-like pattern. I mean, this is just really cool to see. So yeah, we pretty much demolished the solar system, but it was fun doing it. So I was tinkering around and I actually found this as well. I thought I would show it to you guys because I think it's pretty damn interesting. We actually have a solar system here that shows all the moons as well. So Mars should have two moons, I believe. Uh, and it's just really cool to see which planets have the most moons. Now, if we actually zoom out, you can see that there are some serious amounts of moons around Jupiter here. These, holy shit, these are all Jupiter's moons. I think it's got like 28, 29 or something like that, if I remember correctly. Uh, Saturn's got a bunch as well. There we go. Look at that. Uh, and they're all named, of course. They all have all their stats, which is interesting. I mean, if you're into astronomy, there's really not many better games than this one. Of course, Uranus has a bunch of moons as well. Uranus has some moons that are really freaking close to it. Like, look at that. That's like miles away, is it not? And Neptune has a few moons as well. Uh, we got, again, a lot really close to it. And uh, they're rotating differently than the ones on the outside, which is interesting to see. Now, I don't actually know if Pluto has any. I'm morbidly curious, though. Oh, wow, Pluto's got a few of them. Look at that. The little planet's got a bunch of them. I really had no idea, honestly, guys. Obviously, if you're this far into this series, you know my astronomy skills are definitely lacking. Oh, God. Why, why would you add this to the game? Okay, what you're looking at right now at 3 FPS is Earth with 5,000 moons. 
and I can't play my game anymore because it doesn't do anything. Seriously, why would you add this? Oh, I, I opened one. I, o I opened Taya Pordy. How good to know about Tia Pordy. Like, seriously, I wish I could... I, there's there's gonna be a day when PCs can actually render this amount of stuff, but it's not right now, unfortunately. God damn, I wish it was, though. So I found another pretty interesting simulation you guys might like. This is actually just the sun and Earth, but there's 120 Earths. So I'm curious to see. I think it's gonna make a beautiful pattern. This is my assumption, anyways. If I blow up the sun, so I'm gonna turn it into like a mass of three, that should make it go supernova and explode. Uh, I always hit the plus button, I gotta hit enter. There we go, Sun Nova Remnant. Now, I'm going to assume these Earths are going to spread in a very pretty pattern, and it's already happening here. So let's speed up time and see this happen. Oh my god, it's working. This is exactly what I expected it to do, and it's doing it. That is fucking beautiful. And they're coming in now. I d Why are they coming in? Oh, is there a black hole or something? I don't even know how to explain what's going on right now, but it is so fucking pretty. Anyways, guys, I did not expect this at all, but it is very pretty to watch. But yeah, we're gonna end this one here, guys. I know it's probably a bit of a short episode, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys the first person view, and I still need your suggestions. If you want to see more Universe Sandbox 2, of course I love it, but I need unique suggestions, because I'm running out of ideas on what to do. Uh, this game is so damn fun, though. If you guys don't know, it is on Steam. You can pick it up for yourself. Link is always in the description, as usual. So yeah, guys, thanks so much for your support. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.